Hi, I'm Catherine Ryan and speaking to you today from my Warnable studio. I'd like to talk to you about my painting Winter Farm that's in the Warnable Art Gallery collection. In 2003 uh, they purchased it from my exhibition titled Pam Your Paddocks um, which was a series that I, uh, where I was really referencing my farming background. Um, the paintings were all familiar views, uh, rows of cypress hedges along paddocks, um, fence lines, uh, large skies, paddocks dotted with cypress trees, um, and also the titles of the paintings reference that everyday farm language, things like cattle track hedges, um, winter farm and uh, down the paddock and that brought that, that sort of language into the gallery artwork context which I quite liked. Um, the painting was part of a series that was very much about returning to the source of my inspiration, um, drawing on my own personal history and my own memories where I had a deep sort of connection and understanding with the, the, that land and the landscape. Um, basically it contains what moves me. Um, also in 2015 the Warrnambool Art Gallery held a 20 year survey show of my work called A Quiet Place and we were able to hang Winter Farm alongside um, works from over a, an extended period of time that had been exhibited in um, galleries in Melbourne and Sydney which we borrowed back from private collections. Um, it was an amazing opportunity, um, which not many artists uh, get, to see work from over a 20 year period hanging in the one beautiful gallery space. So um, I'm very grateful for that. And Winter Farm got to hang next to its brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, so that was very good. So I grew up on a dairy farm in Pamua, and although I moved to Melbourne for many years and lived overseas, I've always drawn my inspiration from um, the landscapes that were most familiar to me. Um, so my work has always drawn on, on that intimate knowledge um, and the familiar experiences where you know the layout of the land, you know what muddy paddocks are like, you know what climbing fences are like, you know the, the weather coming in, um, the, the, the changing times of day and different seasons. But what I'm most interested in conveying is um, that, that feeling or the sense of being in the landscape. I'm not so interested in depicting things realistically, um, but more the mood and the light and the, and the space. Um, a feeling of calm, a sense of reflection or contemplation for the viewer, which is also what I'm doing myself. So it takes it beyond the literal, which opens it up to more interpretations and other reflections. Um, so by sort of offering this um, sense of contemplation, the, the viewer um, may be reminded of their own memories or, or, or feelings or experiences. So it's a way for them to also have that self-reflection um, and, and to look inward and look, look at our sensibilities, our strengths, our fragilities, um, and our place in the world, our, our sense of our place in the world or the sense of our spiritual and this is sort of what's mirrored to us through the artwork. Um, light is really my main interest um, in, in how it can convey a feeling or a mood. Um, it, it, it's a sensory experience. So that is something that I've continued to explore through my work over many years. Um, so I guess really all these themes have been consistent for, for many years. But I'm always trying to improve on, on how I do them, technically how I make them or, or how I choose the imagery. Um, sometimes the, the work's retreated to become more ethereal and ambiguous and other times it's um, become more literal. I often sort of oscillate between the two. Um, so I've been a full-time artist for over 30 years, probably now I think. Um, and predominantly my practice is oil painting and charcoal drawing um, and, and also mostly influenced by the landscapes of Western Victoria. Um, the oil paintings take quite a few months to complete. Um, they're built up very slowly in many, many layers. I mean, there's underpainting that sort of happens first um, and then lots of glazes working wet on wet, often pushing the work back, pulling it forward, covering it over, reworking it, 
I'm often reworking and reworking the painting many times um, and that's all about trying to build the depth and the sense of light in the work. Um, so it does take um, a very long time, um, but it's a way for me to sort of express that, um, to have the light coming out of the darkness or the drama and, the, and show up the strengths and fragilities in a work. Um, for the last five years or so, I've moved back to Warrnambool. Um, very happy in my home studio here where I can work around the clock, um, which has been a complete blessing in uh, these strange times that we're in with lockdowns and restrictions. Um, I mean, artists are generally used to being isolated in our studios, um, but I think it has been harder for, for everyone uh, these times, obviously. Um, and I've noticed, you know, with the rise of social media and online presence, artists and artwork galleries, we can adapt and we can still put our work out there to the world. Um, however, there's nothing like seeing artwork in the flesh. Um, so hopefully when things settle down a bit, um, we can all go back to the galleries and hopefully you can visit the Warrnambool Art Gallery and see all their artworks in the flesh. Okay, thank you.